In this short video, we are going to deploy the Azure OpenAI plus Azure AI Search RAG demo into a virtual network with private endpoints. And then we'll use Bastion in order to log into the VM and actually confirm that it's all working. Let's go. For our first stage, we are going to deploy the private endpoints, but also keep public network access enabled so that we can do data ingestion and also just check things are working. So then we run AZD up. And the first step is that it packages up the application code and puts it into a zip file that is going to use in a later stage of the AZD process. Then it moves on to AZD provision, which is where it looks at the bicep code and our parameters and decides what it should be making. I've sped this up quite a bit since it does take a fair amount of time. You can see that it creates all our normal services, but it also creates a virtual network and private endpoints. So then that's done. At this point, it would do the data ingestion. However, I already ran data ingestion on this resource group, so it skipped everything. So it's moved on to AZD deploy, which is where it takes that zip code, uh, the zip file of the application code and actually sends that zip to the app service app. Now this also takes a fair bit of time because it has to actually upload the file, which is, you know, decent size. It has to build the container, which means installing all the Python requirements and setting up Python and then starting the server. And now it uh, is completed. And that whole process was a decent amount of time. So then we click on this and open it up in the browser in order to see it's working. There we go. And we click on a question and behind the scenes, this is searching an Azure AI search index for search results and sending those results to an open AI GPT model, which sends back an answer, which streams in, and there's also citation. So it all seems to be working currently. The next step, we are going to shut down that public network access and instead provision a VM. Now we need to set a username and password for that VM because we cannot use managed identity with VMs yet, unfortunately. So you do need to come up with a new password and store it somewhere securely and follow all best practices for passwords. Then we run AZD provision, just the provision, because we don't need to do a full up. We're not doing a deploy. We're just doing a provision, which is going to create any resources and configuration that is missing. So that is what it's doing now. And once again, I am going to speed this up so that we don't have to watch for 30 minutes or however long it may take. Uh, so it's looking to see what new things it needs to provision that weren't provisioned before and you know what new configuration has to change. So in this case, we did ask for a virtual machine, which we didn't ask for before. So it should be making a virtual machine in this stage. And that, you know, it will take some amount of time in order to make that VM and also confirm that the configuration for everything else is correct. And there we go. And since public network network access was disabled, it didn't even attempt data ingestion because it wouldn't have worked. So now we're going to see if we can access it from the virtual machine. So we go into the portal for the resource group, we find the virtual machine and we connect to that. We can use either connect or bastion. They'll both get us to bastion. So let's go ahead to the bastion blade here and enter the username and password that we configured the VM with and then click connect. And that will open up a new browser tab and inside that browser tab, we are going to be inside a Windows virtual machine. And this Windows virtual machine is setting up right now. So we do need to click a bunch of buttons in order to get through that, that, uh, you know, initial setup process. And then we're going to look for edge, the browser, so that we can test out that this is working. So there we find edge. And for edge, we are also going to do the edge setup process. So we need to click through these buttons here. So we'll say that we want to start without data. Uh, we just, we're not going to bring over anything here. 
Uh, we're not going to sign into Google and we'll go ahead and check that box. Okay. So now we are in and we want to test out the app. So we find the URL. We can either find it from our command line from before when we deployed, or we can go to our portal and find the app service and then click on the domain from the app service overview and paste that into the VM's edge. And we can see it's loading and we can indeed access it from inside the browser on the VM that's on the VNet. So we send a question off again. It's going to the Azure AI search and the open AI, which are all inside the VNet as well. And it gets back the answer and provides a citation. So great, that is working. Now the question is, what happens if we go to that URL in our main browser? We get a 403, good. That's what we want to have happen, which is that we should not be able to access this URL unless we are inside that virtual network. And we can go into the portal and look at the networking tab for all of our resources to confirm that everything is set up the way that we expected based off our bicep. And if everything looks good, awesome. You've got a rag app in a VNet.